let's see the details here you do not take any naps for this week and it's full but luckily we have this oh my god it is gorgeous i love the leather i love spicy pork garlic ramen i am a little stressed though hello my beautiful friends welcome or welcome back to the channel it is the start of growth week but because it is july 1st it is also canada day here where i am let me just get kitsune jerry in the frame but we're on the screen right now first things first let's pick a new island to go to well actually let's see the details here so just a reminder it's a week-long event that is a special opportunity to get more sleep exp and candies so it's available in all areas and helper pokemon will get 1.5 times more sleep exp and we will also get 1.5 times more candies gained from the first sleep research session of the day so highly recommended that you do not take any naps for this week because when you do take naps unfortunately the nap session counts as the first one which i get because like if i were to think about today if i were to take a nap if i were to take a nap that would be my first sleep of the day and then the sleep that i take at nighttime would be the long session so i guess it works out but yeah that's the situation so let's choose the next campsite and i was torn between topalo and cyan beach but ultimately i think i'll go to cyan beach because i still have not found a good totodile so i kind of want to get that done with also i i can benefit from um squirtle candy that i get there to raise my blast toys also, I probably should look for a mono milk squirtle as well since I don't have that. And then, Eevee candies are always nice to get and you can get them there too. I was thinking of going to Topalo simply because I have two pupitars that require a lot of candy to turn into a Tyranitar. But I don't think I'm in any rush really to find, to, to evolve my pupitar to Tyranitar. So, Sand Beach we go, my area bonus is at 55, and my record right now is 14, uh, Master 14. And if you look over here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 8. So, kind of funny. And this coming Sunday, I have a birthday to go to. I have salads this week. Shoot. But yeah, I have a birthday on July 7th. So that's 7-7 seven, seven at 7 o'clock. And we're celebrating someone who is turning 70 years old. So that's a lot of 7. So I definitely want to buy him a lottery ticket as a birthday gift. And now we will collect all of our goodies before we swap out our team. And I'm so sorry about all that commotion outside. So dessert week was going well for me, although I noticed that in the later half of the week, I was really struggling. I was running out of ingredients. My blast toys was not procking its skill as often as I was hoping, which was quite the bummer. And so I, I was only able to make two meals on Saturday and two meals on Sunday. So it kind of sucks. I felt like there was so much wasted potential, but that's fine. So we will see how we will fare this week on salad week. I think I'm going to do good though. I hope everything's all right. Okay, so, oh my goodness, I cannot make anything. That is not good. Okay, well, we are going to swap out. And use this team. Let me just refresh my memory a bit on what salads I need to make for this week. So, oh, it's the spore mushroom salad. 
oops, that is usually my go-to. Then I make the gluttony when I can't make my mushroom. But I also rely on the ginger, which is why my pupitars are out. And then at the end of the week, we make our green grass salads. Let's see, is my Ghastly or Gengar out? No, it is not. But I should bring it out. So I'll probably swap out my Ditto. Yeah. For my Gengar, we have absolutely no favorite berries. Hmm. Maybe I should swap out one of my pupitars just so I can farm some more. Wait, what does this one give? I want to farm some more herbs because I'll need that. And I don't need beans, so let's swap you out. And we'll swap in Merino or actually, let's see. Fiery herbs. Oh, okay. I could swap in Agni. And we're good. So that's the team for Cyan Beach. And I think we will do well. So a good start we're at basic three now but whatever am i going to do about breakfast i guess i'll just have to skip breakfast all right and let's see hopefully we get an ingredient ticket i got a poke biscuit actually that's not bad I'll take that. Oh, and it is the start of the new month, so the shop reset it, which is really nice. All right, so now let's do our sleep research together. So I didn't really catch anything interesting during the last week at Lapis Lakeside. I was able to catch and encounter more routes than usual, which was really nice, but they weren't good, which kind of sucks. And I hit Master 2. I finished at Master 2 last night at Lapis Lake Side. But we're slowly ranking up the area bonus there. I found no Stuffle and no Jatini yet again. Oh. What do you know? The Jatini from... How funny. <laughs> Finally encountered some Jatinis, so let's see how many of those we could catch. So yeah, this is Sunday night's sleep session, so the event bonuses will not be applied to this sleep session. So we got a top belly sleep, which is new. So I have two more. The other day I also unlocked the Dragonite Ditto Sleep. So that was so cute to see in game. It is huge, like a ginormous head. And it is just so adorable. So pretty exciting so that whenever I have my Ditto as the leader for the team, it has a chance of being in that sleep style when I put my game to sleep. Although I won't even see it anymore because I use this little thing over here, the Pokeball Plus Plus, and that is zoomed in. The Altaria is beautiful, but we are not going to catch that. We are going to dedicate our efforts to this Jatini. And I'm hoping to catch a herbs only Jatini, so we'll see how that goes. And hopefully it doesn't get full. And it's full. But luckily we have this one over here and it's flying and it's so weird when 
You see it flying like that? Speaking of dragons, did you guys watch House of the Dragons yesterday? I keep saying House of Dragons, but it's House of the Dragons. But yeah, I'm fully aware, but I make that mistake. But it was such a good episode. I think it's my favorite one so far. I just love all the nuances in there and the foreshadowing and the realizations it's really good and i can't wait for next week's episode so let's see what is our dratini gonna look like it's a brave nature which is nice if there's berry finding to it so we got herbs in the seconding second slot which is nice Skill level up M, not bad. Helping bonus, which is good. Skill trigger, which is nice. Helping speed is really good as well. And then we got ingredient finder at the very end. So this might be the best one I have so far. But I don't know. I don't know how much ingredients I'll actually gather from this. Although the speed up and the helping speed does give it a boost. I like the skill level, um, skill level up and skill trigger because then it'll self-sustain itself. I'm not sure how much it'll proc its skill compared to my pupitars and my Umbreon because Umbreon procs it a lot. But overall, pretty happy with this. So let's move on. So I'll hold on to it for now. It's probably going to be like my second that i'll use because i noticed later on in the game it's nice to have like a second one that you want to use it's not needed though it's good to hold on to 15 dragon types that i've researched which gives me a energy pillow which is really nice all right and now let's go to the research community tab while we catch up a little bit about my weekend so saturday i went to a birthday party which was so much fun and on top of it being so much fun the way that the the owners of the place decorated their house oh my god it is gorgeous i love the leather i love the warm tone walnut wood that they decided to pair it with and it's just so like mature and sexy and elegant and warm love it and it really with the high ceilings too it just makes it look so grand and gorgeous but not in a way where it's like overly top extravagant so that was a lot of fun we had cake we had pizza and we celebrated the birthday boy and we were there until almost midnight and then we came home and then sunday was supposed to be a pool party but that did not end up happening so my boyfriend and i ended up meeting with our friends who we also hung out with a little bit on saturday so our on sunday we met two of them again and we had ramen which was really nice so i had the spicy pork garlic ramen which i love i love to add if there isn't an egg, I love to add an extra egg. But one of my favorite condiments for ramen is the bamboo shoots. I love bamboo shoots. And there's this one dish that my mom would make where it's thin sliced pork belly with bamboo shoots stir fried. And that is so cute. I've actually never encountered a beware, I think. So that is a log hugging sleep beware. Absolutely adorable. And today is Canada Day, so we are taking it very easy, very chill. We don't really have any plans for today either. So yeah, I'm probably going to do laundry though. And then we might use our extra time to work out a bit and play some video games, which is going to be very nice. And then Tuesday, tomorrow, I have a little girls day with my cousin and my best friend. So we're not really sure what we're going to do, what's the vibe. It's either we go out to eat because we don't have much opportunities where we go out together. But who knows, maybe we'll be tired, cozy, comfy girls that want to stay in. 
So if that was the case, then we would just hang out at my place. And my best friend flies to flies out for vacation on Thursday next week. So gotta get all of our hangout sessions in before she goes. And then also this Friday, I have a friend group outing as well. So not as pretty busy still, I would say in terms of like going out, but still have a lot of days to relax like today, for example, with Canada Day. I am a little stressed though that I do not have like literally cannot even make a fancy apple salad so I think I'm really just going to have to skip breakfast which I hate for my Snorlax. I do that for myself because I'm just not a breakfast person like I usually don't have an appetite when I wake up. So yeah, Snorlax and I are just going to not have breakfast today but that is my little catch up i am at cyan beach today let me know what you guys are headed to for growth week and what are your objectives as well so hopefully fingers crossed i'll find a good totodile get a lot of candies for it get some more candies for my squirtles hopefully if i'm able to catch a mono milk squirtle that would be very good as well and a bunch of eevee candies because you can never have enough eevee candies so i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to join us in the discord let me know in the comment section where you're headed and i can't wait to see you guys tomorrow so until then take care good luck and have fun bye